Hi guys, welcome to part two of my video. Uh, this is just showing off my gaming collection that I've amassed over the years of being a gamer, since about 92 when I first got my Mega Drive. Um, I'll start out from the left. Uh, we've got a Sony PlayStation 3, Sega Saturn, PS1, Sega Mega Drive, Sega Dreamcast, Nintendo GameCube, we've got a Xbox 360, N64, SNES, a Game Boy Advance SP, I've got a PSP in there somewhere, and a Nintendo 3DS. So all these consoles are ones that I've had since I was a young kid. I mean, my first console was my uh, Mega Drive I got, and it's still the same one. So are all the other consoles, apart from my Sega Saturn. I left my Sega Saturn around a school friend like, many years ago, and uh, never actually picked it back up. So uh, that's the one I've got on eBay about two years ago. Um, the only other non-original one as well is my GameCube. I do have my original GameCube in my um, in my closet, but unfortunately when I was at my dad's house once, uh, one of his dogs jumped up and knocked it off the table and it actually cracked one of the ports at the front, so it didn't work with um, one controller, so I bought a new one on eBay for like £10 or something like that. Uh, I've got all my games set up as well. I've got all my games set up here. The Sonic and Knuckles at the top, all my snares. My Mega Drive ones there as well. Centurion, great game. Sonic 3D, great game. And Fantasy Star. My friend Adrian bought that for me, so thanks very much to him. All my Saturn games, my N64 games. Banjo Kazooie up there, Pokemon Stadium, Mystical Ninja, um, the Final Fantasies, all oh, Ocarina of Time, and uh, Majora's Mask, can't forget them. And also PS1 games. The only three that really matter, let's be honest. 7, 8, and 9. Um, PSP, um, don't really play it that often, but I've got a couple of movies, and again, Fantasy Star is a great game. Mega Drive Collection is a must. Loads of my Saturn games here as well. Panzer Dragoon is a great game. Um, I've not really played my Saturn recently, I need to get it back out, but I might do some uh, screen records of that sometime soon. Uh, my SP is down here, but uh, the games are in there. Obviously, you can see Pokemon Yellow and Blue sitting in there. Uh, Shenmue for the Dreamcast, another great game. Here's my Dreamcast collection. Grandia 2 is great. Fantasy Star Online. Sure, that'll be appearing in my top five games of all time. Got that on eBay for 99p. Come with a holographic card. It's WrestleMania 2000 um, for the 64. And jump down to my GameCube games. Uh, again, these are all original ones. Um, apart from Pokemon Stadium, I got that on eBay the other day. I say the other day, it's about a year ago. Um, it was 99p. Come fully boxed with all the bits inside, including the um, converter for the back of your controller, so you could play Pokemon on your 64, which is great. Uh, my SNES is just chilling out there, um, my pad's on top of it, um, and some GameCube games. Metroid Prime's another great one, uh, Ocarina of Time again, uh, I've got that about four times I think that game. Um, PlayStation 2, one that I haven't actually got set up on my um, desk there, um, but again I had a 24-hour uh, Final Fantasy marathon with some friends and left it around his house and haven't picked it back up, so um, yeah I'll probably have to get another one of those soon. Uh, my PS3 collection, just there, um, and... 3DS, again Ocarina of Time, Street Fighter, Mario Kart is a must, and my Xbox games with Tiger Woods sitting at a rubbish angle there, uh, most of the deal kicking, they have to move that, um, but yeah my, my um, Xbox games, probably got the most Xbox games out of all of them, apart from my PC games, as I say you've seen my PC set up from earlier, all my games are at the top here, but you have EverQuest, your Conan, Warcraft, Final Fantasies, Counter Strike, loads of football managers as well. So yeah, that's my gaming setup, just there. They are all wired in to so my TV. The only ones I have to change is the GameCube and the SNES. They've got the same connection at the back, so I have to switch the cable between if I want to play those. But my 360 and my PS3 have got a HDMI switch there, which is a, a infrared one, so I can use a remote. Got a little aerial there for a wireless listening to uh, the TV when the missus is in bed or if I'm just chilling out. And I've got a splitter here. A yellow, white, red classic cable with Sky TV, my Nintendo, um, which is a 64, and then the Dreamcast. I've also got my Mega Drive and my Saturn switched out to the old classic. Remember the Sega RF switch? This absolute monstrosity. Yeah, they're both connected to that, so I, I normally have that uh, pushed up behind my TV, so you can't see it. It's got a 32 inch Samsung plasma, nothing too special, but it does the job very well. There you go guys, that's my gaming setup. What I'm going to do really soon is do a um, do a top 5 of my favourite games of all time. And you'll see um, some of the games I mentioned in there. 
um, as well. So yeah, there's my collection. Any questions you got, please give me a uh, comment on the video. And also please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And that blue box there is where all my controllers are.